Hey YouTube, what's up? Dr. T here and welcome to my hometown, St. Petersburg, Florida. We are located on the central west coast of Florida by Tampa Bay and in the Gulf of Mexico on the west side of the county. Take a minute to have a look at St. Petersburg in all its wonders, a piece of paradise to live in. If you are new to my channel, take a look around. You will find everything for one-stop shopping in the playlists. So this is a new post from the last one I did just a few minutes ago. Turns out that we did find a buy position from our former position because the, the market had risen against my coding environment which sets the information as to whether we buy or sell in the former position. Um, this block here is where I calculate where we buy and this block here is where I calculate where we sell. Uh, in the former position it had sold at 7.33. It will come out of the way. It, it uh, found a bottom at 7.20 and the speculative sell buy-in price was 7.31. That was reached so I take this code out. I put the price in, in up here and then set what the new top is and we'll follow how that goes along. Now uh, this is then put on my chart here you can see this live I just put the new buy price in there and basically I just change the peak of where the where the current situation is if it goes against the model and actually falls and would trigger a hypothetical buy that would be down at 723 if that did happen with a loss of minus eight dollars and one percent then the model would be changed you would be actually losing anything because we're not trading real money that's the why you run the model so the model would then be adjusted accordingly so that you would take in that variance so you want to do this over a period of time to kind of find these outlays and we don't mind a little loss but you just want to keep them keep them down um, so that's what the current position is and it's done a little downside and it's kind of recuperating from that so I'll keep this going for the rest of the day and come back when there's anything more to report so here it is live the models being tested right now the downside is 723 if it breaks through the downside the model has to be adjusted which would require based on viewing the previous uh, ups and downs of changing that $11 uh, up down by sell shift to 15 to make sure that it didn't trigger the last upside which enabled it to buy sell off um, at 731 this, the the upside was 734 I'd have to shift that up to 735 which you mean moving that from 11 to 15 so this is live it's testing the model and we'll see if it survives so the downside was tested uh, came pretty close but the model held on it went down to about 24 and it kind of hung around there for a while but the model survived and now we're back up so models holding and that's what we want to see we want to see it tested and make sure that it survives because I didn't want to have to plunk it from 11 to 15 so that's good news at this iteration because it may not last forever but so far so good we are looking live and we can see where the support levels are. Now we've got a big block downside support level at 725 relative to our 723 uh, cut off. So, so far so good. We'll come back later. So we fortunately survived that challenge to the downside. And a while later, and this has gone up, and we'll check the peak, which is 742. Over here, change our top seven point two and the code. So, what we get so our buy in seven thirty one, top seven forty two, uh, bottom sell price. We're looking for a peak, and then when it comes down, we will sell it on the downside. So, we kind of break even now, so which is good territory. We are uh, in. 
not a lot of lost territory, so the model's doing quite well, and we'll see how it goes, whether it goes down or up further, and follow on with the day. So here we are a little further down the line uh, with today's steady movement in the right direction, namely not against the model. <coughs> now the perspective idea of this is that you want a system that will allow you to reach the peak of all the top peaks and the bottom of all the bottom troughs without interruption by variances that break against the model. Uh, small amounts of variances are okay. If you've got 100% and you lose 5% of variance, it doesn't really matter. 10% might be a little bit more concerning. So um, we're going to march forward. And once this thing is set and tested against a high upside and a high low side, we're we'll pretty much set to uh, guarantee with reasonability that you're going to get every penny of everything going to the upside and to the downside regardless of how things get traded. So we're live today and reacting to the moment. We've just seen a big challenge to the upside with a plummet uh, which is holding and you can see this live as it responds. It's kind of fun watching this as it goes throughout the day. Um, testing the model to see how it's going. If it does go down, we are at a, a zero equity change by sewing to the low side. But um, right now, if you look at the depth of the chart, there isn't, uh, there's starting to be a, build, a bit of a wall. Oh, we're starting to see a wall being, being built to the downside. So there is some resistance to selling. Um, but generally speaking, it's a flux between well, those who think it should go up and those who think it should go down, and that's kind of a parity situation. So with that, we will carry on and uh, see how it goes. So we are live. Another challenge to the upside. We look like we're going to break through our resistance and hit our bottom sell price if this keeps on going. There doesn't seem to be a lot of there is a resistance barrier. There's a resistance barrier just about where my bottom cell is. If that happens, we'll give a whole consideration to where the situation is. But um, it's a zero equity difference, so there's neither loss nor gain. And here we go. I'll watch live as to what's going on and see how much this downside just gets a pullback or whether it'll continue to plummet and break through and we will end up with a sell for zero gain and then of course we're looking to see if it goes down further and retrench there afterwards so up to the minute live action here on the Hadfield Bitcoin playlist So here we have this classic tug of war between the bulls and the bears. Downside has been tested twice and has held. So this is a quasi state between those th people that feel that it's going to go down, those people feel it's going to go up. And we have two camps here, one at the, the sell side, one at the buy side, and they're kind of competing with one another to see which way it's going. The trend is probably now breaking towards the upside. People are kind of waiting around, no doubt, to see if it breaks through and if there's a run going to be established, in which case then there will probably be a sharp run up with certain sell-offs on the way. So the trend is now tending to shift towards the upside. That's too early to call it, but um, we might be seeing a good run up uh, later on in the day. So here we have the trend from the beginning of today with a rise early on and then an entrenchment. The entrenchment attacks the downside and it finds a support level. It's found the support level here, which is building a base for confidence and what is going to be a probably a strong upside for the rest of the day. Once this, once this level is established, undoubtedly there will be 
more we're getting in. It needs to get into a good rise, you know, it needs to kind of be up a few percent and then everyone kind of jumps on the bandwagon and wants to ride, ride it up. So, and yesterday, if we look at the other day, it went on for what, whole day. Um, yesterday's run went on for the whole of the day. And we're here, out. We're how now positioning ourselves for another similar event, no doubt. Once confidence builds up, this will undoubtedly rock it up. The upper support level up here, 700 and change. So there is plenty of opportunity for up waves movement. Once the confidence base builds, it will be off to the races. You better get in early because if you don't, you're going to miss out. So that's the current position and looks to be building to a nice run. So we're watching the start of a potential uh, run up. Um, one comment about this and the stock market. Stock markets are very institutional base. That means big organizations with lots of money. They control the market in general. Not overall, but in general, they control a lot of the market forces, which means they buy and they sell at the same time to keep it in a range that they want to have it in. This is not apparent here because no one controls it. Another thing, of course, is this operates 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. This will flow according to the sentiment of the people who are involved. So in that regard, this is good. I mean, there is a lot of the negative side that people are saying about the the dark side of the web and selling drugs and funneling money to terrorists and the like. But um, you have to look at it in terms of the real world where people now have an opportunity, once this gets established, to be involved in something that is not controlled by institutions, not controlled by greedy people who want to take profit. Now currently, DDAX does not take any profit on limit buys. Undoubtedly, as things move forward, I will see that they probably will introduce a small amount, but we're seeing lots of ups and down swings here. Now, most of these people are clueless. They're, they're buying, they're selling, they're buying, they're selling, they're buying, they're selling all of the time. This model is a model that will follow the trend wherever it goes. If it's going up, we'll follow the trend to the top of the mountain and we'll find the top of the mountain and we'll sell out of the top of the mountain and we'll follow it down into the trench and we'll take it out of the bottom of the trench. We'll gain the, the whole of the spectrum of the in-betweens and whatever there is from the downside up and the upside down. So stay tuned and every day I will be posting what's going on with this test system. I don't know how long this is going to go on. It'll go on for a while. Add more data to the test system, get more um, confidence in its base and see how it goes. Another tense moment as profit takers come into the market. Big swing down. This is people who are just selling big time into buyers to take their profit out of the potential upside of the market. Calling this a market. Currency exchange. Uh, this dynamic is just going to go on to one of the forces prevails basically. We'll see if our 731 bottom holds. Uh, come back later.